Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another car video. The shallow requirements of women. And this video, car video, was in, good lord, girl. Anyway. <laughs> and damn, she pulling him up. <laughs> you know, let me give y'all some game real quick. If a woman sees you looking and she kind of pulls up like something so that you see her full ass, she's giving you a signal. I'll catch her later though. Anyway, the shallow requirements of women. The shallow requirements of women. And this video was inspired by an Instagram post I saw from... Um, 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 I guess you call her an urban model from um, who was real big years ago. Not as big now. Not as big now, but some people might remember her name. Melissa Ford. Jessica Rabbit. Good Lord, she got a body on her. Shoot, damn. I mean, she just got a body on her. I mean, she built like a mine. You know? So, anyway, I saw a post from her, and she was uh, saying the uh, shallow requirements of... Um, she was saying the shallow requirements of a, a, a woman, right? The shallow requirements of women. And um, she was asking, you know, whether they're shallow requirements, right? Well, actually, she just said shallow requirements for dating. She didn't specifically say women, but mostly women answered. And here's what was interesting, right? Here's what was interesting. Um, because, well, she started She started out by saying, well, her shallow requirements are he has good skin. He uh, has good glutes to grab. And he has a big eggplant. And y'all know the eggplant on social media means big old dick. That was her requirements. So the other women in there, they were saying what they liked. Mostly women. Some guys came on there and said stuff. But I noticed one interesting thing. Only out of like 900 some comments, maybe 800 something women commenting. Only, um, like I said, a few men. But the women, only three of them said face. But they did talk about a part on the face. Primarily. They did talk. Now, they did that a lot. And I'm going to tell you what that is in a second. But honestly, their, their main requirements, I say, many of them said eggplant. Many of them, they were like, nah, it got to be, gotta be at least seven. Got to be at least seven. Height. Now, let me be clear about the height because I know some people say, yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, I can't get a woman. It's over. No, the women just want a man to be taller than them. Now, there were a few who specifically said six, you know, six feet and stuff, but you know, like a couple is like, as long as they taller than them, that's all they needed. That's all they needed and stuff. So, you know, it's just like, hmm. Hmm. You know, it was an interesting piece. It was an interesting piece and stuff. And, but they said height, eggplant. And then, you know, what was funny. The third thing most of them talk about, even Melissa Ford didn't talk about this. Now, look at this person parking all jacked up. Um, I was going to pull out. You know what? Just real quick. I get distracted by one woman in the parking lot. Another one just walked by my car. Y'all just saw me wave and stuff. I didn't feel like saying anything to her. That's uh, in PHAT fat. Uh, I'll catch her later. It's uh, let's just say there's um, uh, I gotta be careful when and how I say stuff to people here at this gym. There's some people keep an eye on me. And I'll leave it at that. But anyway, right? You know they were talking about the you know height, the eggplant. But the third thing a lot of these women said was teeth. Teeth. And I was like, oh snap. And I knew what the deal was. I knew what the deal was. See, understand something. I keep telling y'all, women be checking out men for sex. Now, 
okay, they want generally a man taller than them. Like I said, he don't have to be like six feet. Except the tallest ones, they did say, you know, the women were like, they were 5'9", they were 5'11". So they wanted somebody, you know, you can understand they want somebody six feet. And a couple did, but like I said, there were also a few. They say, shoot, one said like 5'6", that was taller than her and stuff. And then, you know, they want that good D. Women want that good ass D. Yeah, a couple people cross from them. Let them cross first because there's a little kid. I don't want to pull out then that little kid. You know how little kids do. They just run out and shit. So I'm going to let them pass. So they said a good D. But then they were just like good teeth, good oral hygiene and stuff. And I was just like, oh, okay. That's why I don't worry about women. Especially I take that mask off and stuff. I smile. In fact, I'm going to be real with y'all. That's one thing women have consistently said they liked about me was my smile. We've always said that consistently. But, you know, they very, and, you know, and all of it has to do with sex. All of it has to do with sex. Let me pull out this parking lot. All of it has to do with sex. Because usually when they, when a woman's looking at a man's height, it's to actually be dominated sexually. Because with the height, if he got if he's weighing more than her too, he can dominate her. Understand one thing with a woman's sexual nature. They want to be dominated in the bedroom. Like on a video last week, some commenter was talking about women dominating in the bedroom. And I asked the person, would I ever say that? Women want to be dominated when they want a man, they want a they want a man generally that can dominate them in the bedroom. And really just in gym, they feel a certain way. That's why they do like a man that's at least, at least taller than them. To be real, women ain't tripping over, uh, if you, most of them ain't tripping over you six feet and that. More men talk about that, just as long as you're taller than them. So if a woman like five feet, you five, six, you good. That's it. For all y'all guys who in that five, five to five, seven range, there's plenty of petite women out there. Somehow I managed to find them. <laughs> Seriously, somehow I managed to find them. So, you know, that's one thing. The dick thing is uh, obvious. That's why women like this time of year, gray sweatpants season. They get to see that print. And if you're a grower where the print isn't obvious, they're still looking at how you move. They're looking at how you move. Shoot, even on that thing, one woman did say, uh, you know, a nice, some nice glutes. Cause I remember I was doing this woman one time. She said she just liked looking over and watching my glutes going up and down. And, but that kind of says what kind of thrust you got and everything. So, you know, and then um, they got, uh, you know, the size form. Because you got some of some size queens, but women just need to feel that girth more than anything. And for those who might be like, oh, why ain't that big? What I do? Look, let me give y'all some game I would usually give on my Patreon. Just real quick, uh, hit my Patreon up, $20 level. That's all I talk about, sexual dynamics. That's why I'll get down and dirty if you have a request there. So, but, you know, anybody who really knows a woman, her most sensitive area is only an inch in. You know, got to make that G-strop, G, G, G G-strop, G, G-spot drop. I mean, that's it, seriously. But now there is something, it's called genital reflexology. You know, the more you get in there, you can make a better connection with her. But just honestly, the average vagina is about four inches. So, you know. But whatever the case, women think. Well, let me just give you some game real quick on that. Women think they need that. They really don't. If they feel in a man, he can turn them on, they'll grip this. So. Anyway, that's that's the kind of stuff I talk about on my twenty dollar Patreon. The link is in the description box. But um, you know, so they want that. And the teeth thing, understand something with a woman. It's actually more intimate with a woman to kiss somebody than to suck his dick. Seriously, it's more intimate. Think about it. they got their tongue in there. You swapping spit and shit. That's way more intimate. And plus, 
women are very sensitive around their lips. And there's a part, there's a part on a woman's lips you can look at to give an idea about her sex drive. You can get an idea about her sex drive. Now that I'm keeping to myself. I'm not even going to share that on Instagram. Um, let's just say it's a serious cheat code. And, but, you know, so they like that. So they'll be thinking about a man's teeth, his dental hygiene and everything. That's why I said, and like I said, only three women even mentioned handsome face. No, one specifically said it. One said her face and everything. And then other than that, like, um, you know, a couple were like beards and facial hair and all of that. Now, here's the thing, because you got some guys out here thinking, oh, if I don't have that jawline, I don't have that jawline. Man, first of all, hit the dentist and grow a beard. <laughs> Seriously, hit the dentist and grow a fucking beard. That's why I always say you can control most of it, because here's the thing. When you look at, you know, when you look at comments like that and what really women really want, they want to be satisfied sexually. A handsome face don't satisfy them sexually, don't bring them orgasm. Kissing them with some, like, good oral hygiene can can get them off. You know, and what you do with those lips. A few people said lips. You know? And then, you know, you're taller than them. That means when you lay them down, you dominating them. They got to submit to you. And the best way for a woman to have an orgasm is in is uh, to submit, at least in the bedroom. Because she has to be able to let go. When she's trying to dominate, she's... Uh, her energy is more active and everything. That's why I like those women be doing all this stuff, boom. But if they just kind of like chilling and kind of let you control or you just dominate, not even them letting you just dominate them, flipping them around and stuff, it gets their asses off. So, so you know, that's the height thing and, you know, the eggplant thing and the teeth. And, you know, and a few of them, a lot of them say skin because even, um, uh, Melissa Force, you say it's skin. Women be looking at a lot of stuff that guys don't think about. You got too many guys thinking, oh, it's just a face. It's just a face. That's a man's perspective. Indeed, some of the men who commented on there, they were like cute face and all of that. That's who the men. The women were saying something different. That's why I tell guys, if you got a handsome face, fine. You know? That might get some attention and stuff. That get you some attention. But she's, she's looking at the other physicality. And then while she's talking, she'll stereotypically look down. She want to see something. Oh, yeah, they also talk about voices and everything. You know, a deep voice, stuff like that. But all of it was sexually related. And like I said, they were the shallow requirements. Now, there was, you know, what's funny, people talk about money. I only counted a couple that said money. Only counted a couple. You know, might have been more, I don't know. But that didn't stand out at all. Because sex doesn't, I mean, money doesn't arouse a woman. It don't arouse them at all. It's something they use a man for money, but they don't get them wet. Indeed, a lot of them, when they stroke a guy and the only thing you're offering is money, they got their minds on somebody else. Or they'll fake it. I don't know. They'll do something, put some spit down, do whatever, you know. And then uh, as soon as they do finish, and some women are slick, they'll do something, make you like go quick. And, you know, they'll go to the bathroom or go back home or go home and call that dude up. <laughs> 12, call the midnight to 5, 5 a.m., man. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, but that thing was, uh, you know, I'm going to tell you what. It's like I always say. Try to, like, see what women actually say when they think it's all right for them to talk. Yeah. And I know some people say, well, Ron, did you talk about body game? Some of them talked about the body. Some of them talked about the body. But, you know, that main thing, they just, when they were looking, they were looking at that height, which I don't argue with people when they say how much height me. All I've ever said was you got some guys who, you know, they ain't six feet and still getting theirs. But like I said, there's plenty of women, like, in the five foot to five foot two range who, you know, fucking like crazy too. In fact, they the fun ones, though, because that's what I dealt with a lot recently in that range. Even though I actually prefer like women like five five to five seven. I always did. I like those brick houses. I don't have to hold back with them. I don't feel like I'm breaking them. But you get those small ones, you can spin them around. Especially if uh, you let them uh, do that cowgirl on you. Trust me. 
trust me. <laughs> but there's plenty out there. But anyway, yeah. Yeah, if y'all want to hear conversations like that more, check out my Patreon. Because I'm going to start getting more into seduction there, too. But anyway, yeah, shallow requirements. It is what it is, you know. So anyway, that's all I got for today. Get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.